to all of you beginner photographers out there who actually want to learn about photography, this is the video for you, especially with consuming content out recently um, about tutorials and all sorts. When I was a beginner, I would be very um, procrastinate. I'd be procrastinating about everything in terms for um, tutorials, and I wouldn't really take much action with these, especially, and actually be taking the action with it. I'd just be sitting there and consuming hundreds and hundreds of loads of Peter McKinnon's content and uh, not do very much with it, um, especially. So, yeah, stuff like this. Um, there's a lot of information out there about photography and all sorts that uh, can be good and bad depending on who you take on it and also and who do you watch as well and stuff like that as well. <laughs> but uh, no, but photography is quite cool overall. Is that decent? No. But um, yeah, with, with photography, I suggest to really just like dial down and actually try to take action with information you actually want to learn about rather than sit watching and actually being entertained. Because if you're just being entertained, then you're just gonna do nothing with, with the information that you actually want to learn about. It's way too dark over here because it's a bit, it's like, it's like nearly, it's like about five o'clock around here. And I'm like, right, right now, before I even start making this video, I was actually procrastinated about, procrastinated? Yeah, proca uh, I was procrastinating about even making this video and stuff. I was like, ah, uh, all this type of stuff in my mind, um, especially. And uh, there's all these bushwalkers um, just walking around. It's kind of making me scared, but I'm not even scared. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I would say for beginners, just actually just learn about the camera itself that you actually have right now, and then actually make a list of what camera you actually want to lead up and you actually get to, especially, because I think camera settings themselves are a very big thing. So I really suggest to actually learn about one thing each day, instead of just trying to figure it, out, figure it all out in one, in like one week, because you're not gonna. I spoke about this previously about camera settings and all sorts. I'm still trying to learn about camera settings most of the time. I just I just have to learn about the, the settings I'm actually going to use. Like for example, white balance. I don't really use white balance if I'm going to be totally honest. Yes, it's probably the best thing. It's probably one good thing to use. I can research it however all I want, but I know all about it anyways and stuff. Like I know how to you know, adjust the colors and also it's got like a section where it's got like cloudy, uh, ambience. Also, I can't really remember it on top of my head, but I used to be so like wary of it because TAFE and stuff were like, you have to worry about this and this. I'm like, I don't need to worry about that because I'm not going to use it. But for, be for beginners wise, information right now is so overwhelming. You're just getting feed but with content and content. It's like going to a buffet and then and then that's all you can eat. It's like that right now with content and I don't like it particularly. And like, um, I'm so, like, with these times especially, I just, I'm not really liking, I'm not really liking the, the content right now in terms of just everything. Like you're just getting feed and feed and feed in. And like so many people are just getting entertained and just laying back. Like, man, you just gotta just actually take action, as I said many times. And just have that learning curve to actually want to do it. And then and you just gotta have that discipline to just actually just go, okay, nah, today I'm gonna do this and that. Have a create a to-do to-do list, the stuff you actually wanna do. I don't know, that's too dark. That's, okay, it's way too many lines in that one. Sorry. <laughs> I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to get used to this setup and stuff at the moment. Uh, can't really frame that. There we go. Ooh. And uh, yeah, with, with photography and all sorts, it's very, um, very consuming. Like when I was starting out, I'd be very overwhelmed with so much content and I'll be doing nothing with it, as I said. But like, it's, there's so many people out there who just want to reach the, the P. McKinn level. You cannot reach that level unless you actually have to work with it. 
you can't just be like him in hundreds and hundreds of years, which I thought I was going to be, but no, I actually have to do the work that I want to do. Like, sometimes I was a concert photographer, sometimes I was a landscape photographer, sometimes I was a portrait photographer, sometimes I'd be whatever the fuck I want. But now, I'm trying to be a product and beverage photographer. A couple of years ago, I'll be saying that is way too hard. And now I've done a few of these things and it's taught me and it's lead me into this point. Because all I had to do, all I did was pick up a camera and took photos of this. Literally this whole entire area that I'm in has taught me how to actually use an actual camera. And I'm not joking either with that. That is why I'm using this old camera because this camera is about at least 10 years old. And this camera led me into photography as well, the one camera previously, which I don't have, but like that led me into actually doing photography and then also videos as well. I don't really do videos with this as it's not very good. Um, but with that as well, I would like to teach people how to actually do photography and you know, how, how to actually learn about it, how to actually do it, especially because. I would get, because there's so many people who can probably be overwhelmed with the amount of people who show the highlights. I'm not gonna show the highlights. I'm not gonna show a few highlights. I'm not gonna show all because I'm particularly, I'm not even at the point where I actually wanna be. That's just because I've just been, you know, that's just, that's just me. That's just me. I'm not really happy with where I am, but uh, I'm happy that I'm actually doing something, which is this video. Literally, that's why I'm quite, I'm just trying to figure out where, where to fucking go. Sorry, I'm, I'm just like walking around in circles, but um, yeah, literally, I'm not really happy with where I am, but hey, I'm trying to make some sort of difference. I, I want to make this video instead of just sitting in my room and procrastinating about even making it. It's literally five in the afternoon in the, and I'm in, I'm in the middle of the bush, which is not a good idea, but hey, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I feel like this is actually a... Oh, this is actually quite a leading, leading line sort of thing. Hopefully you guys can actually see the actual camera. If not, then I'll put the photos up, of course. Um, but like with these type of things, I actually really like to just talk and talk. Even though, yes, there was a few people walking past, but I'm trying to get used to not being so cautious about them, especially. Um, as for me, it is it, at first of even doing these videos, it was quite daunting um, because of just people in general. And that was the exact same thing with photography. I would get so, so self aware of people looking at me. And I feel like with beginners, that can be the most frightening thing, especially for beginners. You just have to just go ahead and actually just go ahead and do it. And like, for example, just go ahead and go towards these areas. Firstly, go to these areas and just take photos of whatever until you can actually grow the confidence to go, no, no, I wanna to go towards the city, bring a friend with you, just in case your camera or whatever gets stolen, which it's not gonna happen, but it might, depending on the area that you're gonna go in. Oh, sorry, I just really am, there we go. I feel like the aperture on this is actually quite good. And uh, the camera is going to be on low. Sorry, you're not even actually seeing the actual thing. It's, you're not actually seeing the camera, you're seeing the ground. Oh, that's embarrassing. But like, um, yeah, with this point of time, in terms of my photography and my content, I'm going to level, level it up. That is my goal. You have to have goals as a photographer as well. Have like goals of actually reaching a certain point or either just trying to level up or just either just trying to get better at it in general for me i was just trying to get better at it i don't think i have much goals of it I just, I just wanted to get better with my camera and and then um eventually i just just want to get paid with it well not get paid with it but like you know do something do some sort of, some sort of service and i didn't really know where to reach in for that type of stuff until i just kept on watching content that or people who are ahead of me that's also the one thing. Watch people who are ahead of you and try and get try to get taught by them if they do a course or whatever like that, because then that will help you instead of just watching hundreds of hours of shit completely. If I'm gonna be honest, stop watching videos, 
that will just waste your time and just go ahead and do one course or do one thing or whatever. So that's all I can really suggest to do. If I was a beginner, I would want to get taught by someone who has done there and done that. I need it up at my eyes, so actually. Hopefully you, can, hopefully you guys can actually see the camera. If not, then I do apologize. But um, yeah, Jesus. Oh yeah. Not very good. Also, I'm using a, the 50 millimeter lens, which is actually quite a good lens to start off with. It's actually probably one of the cheapest lens that I got. Even though I actually don't even know how much I got it from because my my mother got it for, as a Christmas um, gift. So if you're wondering of how I got this lens, yeah, I can, yeah. That actually looks really cool. I'm just gonna take a few more of this actually. I'm just trying to hope, I'm just, I'm actually there, I'm just trying to see if you guys can actually see it, which you can. But um, yeah, in terms of just, just learn about one thing. Learn about one thing, do that. Stop getting so overwhelmed with, ha with, having, to know, with having to know it all. Because you don't have to know it all. Like it's for example, like me trying to learn about videography. I don't really know, if, I don't really know, I don't really know my, that much about videography, but the thing is, Thanks to photography, I can actually know a little bit about the camera settings and knowing what to do and stuff like that. Instead of me going fully into videography in the first place and having to do the exact same thing as I did with photography. And also, I'm going to go ahead and show you a great example. If I, were, if I was going to give you this camera right here, and I just gave it to you, and that person has no idea about photography or even touched the camera, he has no fucking idea of even touching it. So how am I going to teach him? I'm going to teach you, I'm going to give him about five videos of people who I would suggest to watch. Just five, not a hundred or 150 or even 10, just five videos to watch. So you can actually learn about it, learn about your camera, learn about what type of questions to ask yourself at the, at the start of your photography, especially the questions of like, of how you're going to sustainably be a photographer in the long term instead of the short term because everyone's going for this short term shit which i don't particularly like because it's fucking retarded it is retarded why not go for the sustainability of actually trying to enjoy photography and then eventually doing a service of it because that my friends is something way better than actually trying to be something that you're not and um yeah, and just in terms of that, literally just go for it. Just dive into photography as it is probably the best art form out there that you can do. And also with editing softwares as well, it is your choice of preference between your, between whatever. If you're taking photos of your phone, I suggest to go towards Lightroom, obviously, or Snapseed if you're really you know, into that type of, type of stuff. Um, but yeah, those are like the two uh, main main ones I went for in terms of just creating photos and editing them especially. Um, but yeah, in terms of that, it actually looks really cool. Let me just to get that there. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but yeah. I'm actually gonna walk back there, it's probably getting a little bit dark, so. I'm, I was only going to go this far in just because I just wanted to. And um, yeah, so that's really about all I can really say in terms of beginners. Just literally just do the small things, the small actions to lead you into whatever you do. Because three years ago, I had no idea about camera settings. I was overwhelmed as fuck with camera settings and just knowing, having to know it all and stuff like that. I'd be taking notes of it. On, like I actually took notes of one video of P. McKinnon's and guess what? I didn't even, I didn't apply to it at first until I realized what I, what I actually want to learn about. And they actually list out what you do not understand about your camera or what you actually don't know about photography or even videography in general, or whatever you want to do. This can apply towards everything. It doesn't have to apply towards just photography. Actually just write it down, 
of what you do understand and what you actually don't understand. So that you can actually get a clear idea of where you're at as a certain creative or role that you want to be in and stuff and actually write down the goals you want to do. I, for me, it would be like, I want to understand of why, you know, certain videos aren't doing well as this video. And so I'll try and deep dive deep down. God, I can't speak. Dive deep into that goal and stuff like that, literally. And so with this video, I, I had a script down and I, I just, I'm literally just writing, I actually just writing down for this video of the strips and actually trying to pinpoint of a person that was like me five years ago who had no idea about camera settings or camera or photography or even the art form of it or even of who to know because if you search up photography you're going to get Peter McKinnon instantly in your first minute because he's just the the epitome of photography on YouTube literally but um yeah so that's hopefully this video does help you um, if not, then please comment down below of why it didn't or what you do not understand. But also list down of the goals you want to do in terms of photography. Of photog photography, sorry, I keep saying trof I keep saying something else, but like, um, yeah, just literally just list down of what you don't understand and try to actually understand it if you need to, of course. So yeah, that'll be the end of the videos. Hope you guys do enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, and. Uh, Learn about your camera, learn about your settings, just one piece at a time, as I said, into my short form content as well. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. See you later.